Oh, let me get that. I was going to get that. He just got all fussy before I got that cleaned up. I got it. I'll help you. Look, you don't need to stick around and pretend like you want to help me clean up. I know you want to talk. I know you want some kind of agreement. And I've been thinking about that, about what you said. Yeah, I've been thinking about that, too. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry I even brought it up. It's just that when you left town without telling me, I got scared I was never going to see John again. I get scared that you'll take off and you'll never see John again. You're interested in seeing him now, but maybe someday you'll change your mind. Maybe, maybe you'll want to move around and you won't be here to take care of him. No, I'm not going to do that. What if you got the chance to go to Alaska and make a million dollars driving on the ice roads, but you'd have to be gone for six months? <laughs> I don't like the coal. But what if you get a scholarship to Juilliard and you take off for New York and take John with you? Yeah. Well, if anything like that ever happens, then we'll sit down and we'll talk about it and figure out what's best for John. And us. So you're acknowledging that there is an us? Yeah. I guess it's time we both realize that we are a family. Even though you and I are not a couple. So you broke up with Ben? I broke up with him. Or he broke up with me. We broke up with each other. He's been coming for a while. I still like him, and he's been in John's life all this time. I still want him to see John if he still wants to see John. So do I. He's my friend, Ben. He's a good guy. Yeah. He is a good guy. <laughs>